inspiring ship receives the staff of scientific personnel which will time the experiment and set off the blast by radio beam. These are the instruments that will loose the bomb on the test area. Striking just below the surface, the nuclear release smashes at five times the speed in the compressed water as it would in the air. The signal, two minutes to go, and everyone in the fleet stands by to picture history in the making, a scene that excites even the most experienced newsmen. Observant fleet, all eyes are trained on the blast point. As previously conducted on shot Avon, radio-controlled B-17 aircraft were flown to gather air samples and to carry both television cameras and recording instruments into areas too dangerous for manned aircraft. One B-17 drone flew directly into the center of the radioactive cloud at 24,000 feet, approximately seven and a half minutes after detonation. Unlike on shot Abel, however, the drones returned with little good news about the aftermath of shot Baker. 